He said, Where the downtrodden are looked after, O God, there exists your grace and blessing. His followers came to be known as Sikhs, and the movement Sikhism. What challenges have you faced for being who you are? When I first came to America from India, um, a lot of people didn't know about Sikhism back then. So um, I had to explain to them what, what, who I am, what I do. Yeah, a lot of students this year, my freshman year, they, I would, they would look at me and they would think that I'm just like a Hindu and they wouldn't think of any other religion or that some kids would ask me, are you from Afghanistan? Did you have anything to do with 9-11? Some kids asked me that and I got really mad and I was like, no, that has nothing to do with it. Uh, sometimes I've been called you know, Osama or Saddam Hussein or it's, it's just ignorance, but you know, this is just people's way, you know, the, you know, it's, uh, it's just their, their, their ignorance. Yeah, like sure, people like, you know, they're like, why, why are you wearing the funny tomato on your head? What's that thing on your head? Yeah, I, I heard that a lot. Like in my, in my elementary school, they used to be like, go back to India, why are you here? We don't need your population to build up. Middle school, they just, they just thought I was a terrorist. They were like, you terrorist, get out of here. Just stuff like that, that nobody wants to want, nobody wants to hear. In my opinion, stereotypes cloud others for seeing us for who we really are. Our identity is more than what people see on the outside. It is our values and our character. My identity is who I am and not what I'm perceived as. Uh, these two boys named Jake and Garrett, they were, uh, we were on our bus. And they kept on calling me terrorist and it happened a long time. And one day I just got sick of it. And when Jake was about to get off of bus, I like pushed him into a seat. I didn't really want to do it, but I just I, I couldn't control myself anymore. I think there were there were definitely times where I where I felt like uh, you know the peer pressure probably got the best of me, and I felt like wow maybe maybe I'm not cut out for this. Challenges are something that we all must face. The important thing is how we face them, the courage we show while facing them, and the lessons that we learn from them. Bhagat Singh Tind was the first Sikh to fight for the U.S. in World War I while wearing a turban. However, after the war, he was denied citizenship because he was not a free white man. He challenged the racist laws. His activism was important in establishing citizenship rights for immigrants of color. How do you deal with the challenges you face? The best way to confront the people was just telling them who you are in a nice tone, not in a mean tone, and trying to relate to them in ways that um, they can understand. I didn't like shout at them. I didn't like hit them. I just tried to like educate them about the, our religion. You know, they're telling me what Jesus said, and I would tell them what Guru Nanak said or what Guru Amar Das said. So in that sense, I, I tried to engage in more dialogue. I... I would face the confrontations with just by informing them mainly, try to give them as much knowledge about what they didn't understand as I could. I figured the more people who know about it, the less that people will ask or the less they will try to harass you for about it. Um, when somebody does say something, uh, when somebody does say something offensive or harass me in some way, just walking in the mall or wherever, I make a point to stop, turn around and walk right over to that person. And, and just very nicely 
walk up to them and say, hi, my name is Ruben, shake their hand and, uh, you know, just see how they react because they're not even expecting, you know, for me to not, not only turn around and talk to them, they're not expecting to hear, hear somebody without an accent, you know, it, it just kind of breaks their stereotype. And I think that's probably the one thing, you know, I, I say directly to people that when, when, when I am harassed or taunted uh, these days, you know, education that's going to, you know, will set you free. <laughs>